Hi Taurus and welcome to your November 2018 uh, Spirit Guide Messages Tarot Reading. I'm going to pull a card here to see what your Spirit Guide suggests you focus on the most in November to help improve your situation, to bring you clarity, bring about a manifestation, you know, whatever's going on for you guys. Let's see what they have to say. Okay. All right, inspire without control. If you refuse to relinquish control, the potential may never be realized. Allow things to happen without your influence. Love is realizing the best well-being of another is essential to your own. The best way to teach is to inspire through example. So Taurus, with this, um, you know, because this is a general reading and all of you are facing different challenges, have different living situations, different family situations, all of it, you know, they're saying, listen, Taurus, things are actually working out okay. Things are actually moving in a nice way, even if you don't feel as though they are. Um, and you need to just let it flow in November. Um you know, you could want things a certain way. You could um, be putting an ultimatum out to somebody, you know, different for all of you. But Taurus, your guides are telling you November's not the month to do that. It's really a month to just let things happen as they happen. You know, um, that's not to say to not have a mind or an opinion or just go along with something blindly. Not at all. This is about something very specific in your life. And you'll each and what every one of you will know what that is because you're living your life, right? And you know where you have a really strong grip, you have a tight uh, control over something, um, you're afraid to relinquish control, to let somebody else help, to hand a responsibility off to another person. You know, there's just some area for each and every one of you where you're clinging and holding on really, really tight, and it's preventing you know, the movement, it's preventing the flow, it's preventing the manifestation. And so even though it feels counterintuitive to let go of it, that is exactly what your guides are suggesting you do. So if you're really wanting to like go to a, get accepted into a certain school or um, you really want to be with a certain person or you are with a person and you really want to take things to the next level, you know, it's different for all of you. It's not to say you can't have that and that that's not ultimately what's going to manifest, but it's saying if you don't relinquish control, you know, the seed, the sprout may perish and die and there will be nothing. There will be no manifestation, but by releasing your hands, releasing the grip, and just letting it be what it be, even if it hurts, even if it's not what you want in this moment, but trusting that this too shall pass and things will change and things can turn around. And when you love something, you let it go, right? And if it comes back, it's meant to be yours. And this isn't just with people. This is sometimes with dreams and ideas and, you know, different desires of wanting to travel or purchase material things and it could be a basic like I would just like a home or a car or food on my table every day you know different for everybody but just let it be what it is in November and it's just the energy will shift Taurus and if you have the lower hand at this point um, by releasing your control you will gain the upper hand by the end of November. Okay, so let's add more to this, Taurus, and see more specifically what your guides are talking about here. Okay, Taurus, so you guys have the moon. You have the Adept of Coins. Very nice. This is you being empowered, Taurus. Six of Wands. And we have the Four of Cups. 
So I will say this, Aries had the moon and the six of wands in their reading. The six of wands in the same position, but the moon was actually what wrapped up their reading, not started. So if you have any sort of Aries connection, Taurus, check that out. Um, listen, I see here where we feel very emotional, we feel very sensitive, we feel very attached to a specific outcome. Uh, and you're in it, Taurus. It's like what you're expecting or desiring from another person or situation is not anything more than you're giving or you're doing. It's not um, as though you're asking for too much or you're expecting too much. So don't think that. And look here. We have a full moon and then we have um, a waning crescent moon. Or, I'm sorry, that would be a waxing crescent moon. Um, so Taurus, listen, between the full moon and the new moon period, either the full moon we just had in October, which was your full moon, so, um, from October 24th to, I believe it's the 23rd, yeah, the 23rd, 24th of November is when we have the Gemini full moon. Um, so Taurus, it's like between that full moon and the Gemini, your full moon and the Gemini full moon, this is the energy. So it's more, it's, so this is like coming from October and it's like moving throughout November. And, um, it's like now is the moment where you've got to release your control and Taurus right there, boom, you have victory, you have success, you have what you desire, what you've been missing, what you're sad about. Um, if you've been feeling like bored, you want some excitement, you need a change in your life, in your job, just whatever. Taurus, it's coming 100% for sure. Has something to do between moon cycles though, okay? And um, since I'm doing this reading in November, I feel like it's from your full moon on the 24th of October you know, till um, November, towards the end of November. And that might be where that's the amount of time that must pass, like four weeks, four to six weeks of time before something comes back to you or before you get the answer or before you have the manifestation or before you have the resources, you know, to do what you want. So just keep that in mind. It's going to happen. It's like you know, the energy is set up for it, but you can't hold on so tightly. Just let it go and tell yourself it's going to happen in four to six weeks, okay? Now, if this is involving another person, they have free will. This is a general reading, and I won't recommend you say to yourself, they will come back to me in four to six weeks, okay? Um, I would look at it more in four to six weeks, I will have far more clarity and understanding than I do right now in this moment today, just because this is a general reading, okay, Taurus? So keep that in mind. So let's see what your guides suggest you focus on yourself, like what person you should focus on becoming in the month of November for your highest good, to help you achieve your desired manifestation, because it's coming, Taurus, it is. And if it involves another person, I definitely feel that you'll have understanding, clarity, all of that within four to six weeks. And based on these cards here, you know, I would say this is more of like reconciliation energy rather than never again, but this is a general reading, so I don't want to put that out there and ha have somebody only hear that through the whole reading because I've seen it in the comments where somebody's like, oh my god, they're going to come back to me. And that was just like one tiny message out of a 20 minute video. So that's the only reason why I say that. But there's deeper understanding or something, you know, movement forward of energy that's positive. Okay. So... <laughs> Look at this, Taurus, as I'm saying all of that. The messenger. I bring the light of awareness. So, Taurus, you needing to focus on this as your energy of who you need to be, who you need to become. Um, because I see the moon here, 
trust your intuition through the month of November. I feel like you guys are going to have heightened intuition, um, especially attached to the moon energy. Like you guys are very sensitive with the moon cycle for the month. You guys just are. I don't know why it's, uh, you know, a bigger deal for you guys this month, but it, it is what it is. So listen, because this is the messenger, this is where you're getting guidance from your spirit guides. You're receiving it through your intuition, okay? But also, this is that knowing I talked about where you're going to let something go, okay? An idea, a desire, a manifestation, a relationship, whatever it is for you, you're going to let it go and you're going to tell yourself if it's meant to be, it will come back in four to six weeks. If it's not, it's not. But I relinquish my control because if whatever you're seeking isn't supposed to be and, and not work out, Taurus, there's better that will show up. Like, you know, and nobody wants to hear that. And I used to hate that too. But I've been doing this so long and really observing myself uh, opposed to what I experience in my reality. And I promise you, every rejection or setback or something didn't work out as I had hoped was always in my better better good and something much more lucrative showed up in its place, okay? So keep that in mind. In four to six weeks, you will know. You will have clarity. It will either be what you desire or there's something else that's going to be turning your head. So it's like all is well. Let go of the control and let the magic in. Also with the messenger, more than just your intuition, um, you know, or if you're a medium, anything like that, you'll be very on point in November. But also, this is letting you know where we are going to have conversation. We are going to find out an answer, the manifestation, the clarity, like communication coming in for Taurus. All right. So very positive right there. Also, some of you that like maybe don't like you are spiritually gifted, but you don't really uh, dabble much with it or pay much attention to it, you might get some crazy insights in uh, November. Do not discount your insights in November, Taurus. Don't do it. So let's see what energy is being offered to you with this messenger energy. All right, look at this, alchemical mutation. Yes, Taurus, this is a very good card. Um, this is saying that let it go because there is something that's trying to manifest. There is something that's going to take place, but your grip is too tight. And that could be that we're constantly um, rehashing it, thinking about it in our mind over and over and over and over and noticing that it's not there. It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. All right. If that's what we're doing, we need to stop doing that because it's not serving you. Okay. It's keeping the manifestation from you. Um, one thing I just said to my friend, honestly, is when I moved into the apartment complex I live in right now, um, I was in a pretty like miserable place emotionally okay like bad and I didn't realize it to that extent you know if you've been struggling with some things emotionally for a while you just kind of get used to existing in that space right and you know this apartment complex is the craziest and you I don't know um, if I've said in Taurus videos my neighbor is, is just horribly loud and it makes it really difficult for me to record and just focus even and I am like, always thought, God, why? How do I align with this? Like, and it just dawned on me is it's becoming nails on a chalkboard now because I'm not miserable inside anymore. But when I moved here, I was very miserable. And every neighbor I have is miserable. And like, I just, I don't even want to talk about it, Taurus. Like, don't. And I'm like, oh my God, that was me. That was me. And instead of like being like, oh, I'm like, holy cow, I've come a long way. Thank you, universe, for that. Okay. And I feel like with you guys, that's kind of what's going on here is there's a shift taking place inside of you, Taurus. And when something majorly shifts inside of you, then it's going to majorly shift outside of you. And I will say this. I'm moving to a house now. Um, 
breaking my lease and I just happen to have the resources just enough to do this and so I've changed inside so now my external needs to change and in my new external quiet neighborhood um, I will be able to record so much more my videos won't be spotty upload like they are now so listen that is you guys right here we've got to shift inside and that's letting go of that control and then the magic will just happen to us it will just happen okay it's like all you need to do is let go and then boom there it is so let's show you guys some advice okay well those flew all the way onto the floor Ah, if you hear all that noise, Taurus, it's because I, in an attempt to get away from my neighbor's noise, I actually moved my office into my closet. Trying to work with what I have, where I'm at right now, taking my own advice. Okay, so, Taurus, look at this. Yes, exactly, alchemical mutation, transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. I, do you see, like, that's why I st told the story. I know some people don't want to hear the stories, but hello, I told the story because I was guided to, because look at the card that came out for you. Yes, Taurus, it's changing inside of you, and that happens by you letting go, releasing the control, all right? And then externally, everything changes, and we're healing. Oh, my goodness. Very, very nice. And oh, my God. <laughs> look at that. This, and those cards fell out, Taurus. They fell out. Yes, just say yes. So, um, yeah, pretty much everything I just said here. Let go of the control. Let go of that grip, Taurus. That's all you've got to do. And boom, everything changes. Everything changes for you. So let's get an outcome card for you guys. what that says do you see what is depicted on that card Taurus there are good things for you and you know some of you whatever this beautiful manifestation is it's not happening because you're really holding on tight to something that ugh, it's just not even like I know it looks good and shiny and, and what you want in this moment but if you release that control you're not going to want it anymore and there is something so much better coming in or for some of you, this is happening, but yes, all right? Your guides are saying, yes, let go of control, open to infinite possibility. Transformation starts from within, and once it's going on there, your external reality must match it, okay? It must. So, Taurus, those are your messages for November. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.